Um, I had a, um, I call it a tumor or a fungus in my side, and um, and I related it, or we kind of connected it to uh, EMF exposure, and I was exposed to a tremendous amount of EMF. Um, my company, I was running a 20 million dollar company, and my 22 sales guys, and my requirement was I had to take the iPads and take my iPad and had 10,000 pictures and airdrop them to the other iPad, not knowing that the safety level for um, EMF is about six units of microwatts of radiation per meter squared. Well, um, that iPad was putting out 600,000 units of radiation per meter squared. Now, put that in perspective, the highest reading I've ever had from any cell phone tower ever in history is 220,000 units of radiation. So that iPad is tr three times more powerful than your cell phone tower is a, that's sitting 100 yards away from my house and no one knows about that. So with three years, I'm absorbing all this radiation and, and uh, air dropping pictures, no symptoms. I had some blurred vision and started losing some hair. That was about it, but I had no symptoms. Went through a uh, major um, uh, lifestyle change with my family and it triggered it. And when it triggered it, I really felt like I had pain in my side for a while, not knowing exactly what was going on. I thought maybe I had my gallbladder had some issues, um, did, a, did a hydro scan, did things like that. But unfortunately, that's more radiation when you do a hydro scan, so it wasn't really the best thing to do. So when I saw Dr. Yu and we started putting on the proper medication um, to deal with this issue, I had done some research with Dr. Yu knew that he was the right doctor for me, and I had extreme confidence. But as we were as we were uh, attacking the um, uh, parasites, attacking the fungus, and getting rid of the heavy metals, uh, every time I got around EMF exposures, I didn't know I bought a brand new car. I had a Wi-Fi Wi-Fi router in the brand new car. I didn't know I had a Bluetooth that never shuts off. It just puts 2,000, 3,000 units of radiation 24/7. Again, the safety level is six units of radiation. So these devices are putting out a tremendous amount of radiation, and what's so mm -hmm. sneaky about it, you just can't feel it. So I kept coming back to Dr. Yu and said, listen, there's something going on. I know we're in the right protocol, the AMA machine, because we're all electrical machines anyway. The Earth's electric, we're electric. That's what we're doing. We're actually uh, interfering with our electrical machine to work properly. With the AMA machine, Chinese medicine since 300 BC knew that, the, that we were connected to the Earth's electrical system. So when I was exposing myself to all these different EMFs, um, I was shutting my electrical system down. That's really a component I'm going to talk about today. I mean, what's going on is you really look at the, the psychology of the EMFs. What they're doing is shutting our system down. Because in the 70s and 80s, we knew with common sense of, without, without any burden of any thinking that we knew to stay six feet away from a television. Now our televisions are in our laps, and now we're told to say to say six feet away. See the psychology there? Shutting. What, what does glyphosate do? It shuts all the electrical system down in our body. It strips all nutrients, shuts the electrical system down, and also does that in the nutrients in the ground too. The, the plants can't talk. The microbes can't talk anymore. So we have the shutting of that down. We have all EMFs. Our body has a ganglion or router system that works on 500 to 24. Uh, 100 me megahertz or 2.4 gigahertz just so happened that's the same frequency that comes out of our cell phone towers so we're taking our earth our body's router system and we're now integrating it with a soft tooth a soft tooth uh, square wave beam forming wave and interfering with the electro system which now throws off our clocks we have now the clock that flows it's like a rhythm of a pitcher i was a pitcher i was an athlete i pitched i had a rhythm to it i was in a groove i was in a groove I was a hitter, I had, I had, I had a rhythm my, with my swing. Uh, hopefully that pitcher would not throw my, my timing off. So what these EMFs do, which are man-made, not nature-made, are actually throwing our timing off in our body so it cannot work properly. So when we're hooked up to the AMA machine, it, our timing's off and they either throw a bad connection through the, through the tooth or another issue of the body, it throws that timing off so it can't fire. So we have trillions of firing, of uh, pulses going on every second in our body. We have clocks getting thrown off because of the of the of the EMF exposure and overabundance of the EMF exposure, which is not which is not made by nature. We were we're DC current beams. We're not AC current beams. We're DC current. We're not pulse beams. So what I found with the connection with the EMF, since we're an analog beam or analog, more of a wave, really works like that. Nothing pulses. 
and now we've taken a analog bean and we're turning the analog bean into a pulse bean. So we're not pulse. So that's why we're seeing kids today who are actually having no emotions, they're dead. They're becoming so physically addicted to their devices, they're no longer talking to people, they're talking to their devices. And that's what we're seeing right now, psychology is, is that people, human beings are bad, and it started with the carbon, carbon, carbon. Well, we're made of carbon. Bad car carbon's bad, carbon footprint. Well, we're made of carbon, so we're trees. So that can't be bad, we're made of carbon, but that's what the psychology is going on here. And the concern I do have, we're getting scared to death right now when the boogeyman, um, but we're actually making ourselves a lot more uh, stressed out, and then we're adding another component which restricts oxygen, which makes your body more acidic. Then you add the EMFs, and we're wondering why everybody's going nuts, which is exactly what's happening right now. But I think if we can have a little bit of discernment and have a little bit of critical thinking and just see what's happened in the 70s and now, what you're seeing is these kids are being, real pro being programmed right now. They're putting them in boxes. They're going to be put in, in boxes with plastic around them, plastic in front of their face. And now what they're programmed at a very young age is that people are bad, and, but your devices are safe. But here the devices are putting out, two, uh, two, uh, putting out uh, class 2B carcinogenics. Put up by the World Health Organization, which is probably not the most honest organization on the planet right now. And they're actually saying these are class 2B. You look at all the insurance, they want to insurance their cell phone. It's uninsurable. But then we keep those in our pocket and wonder why we're not feeling really good, but then we're not talking to people anymore. So the neat thing about building biology is they, they're probably the most studied or about biology. Uh, it was actually founded by a German architect uh, in Germany. He found that after the post war, that we rebuilt these houses uh, with different uh, materials, synthetics and chemicals versus the standard ways of doing, con doing construction, he found that there was a connection of health. We feel those three skins in, in building biology. We have our skin, we have our clothing, there are walls of third skin. Our electrical system is actually in, in the walls of our house. Well, unfortunately, there's a lot better ways to harness AC current. AC current, that means there's a 60, 60 hertz sine wave running around those wires that's pulsing, hitting you 60 times a second. And all you have to do is put in Romax and eliminate that 60, sine, the 60 hertz cycle. But why, why this is so detrimental, why we're in a critical time right now, why you're seeing power lines and dead trees around them all over the place, because those, those, those trees were fine earlier, but now we've added more dirty electricity into those wires now, because all of our devices have what they call switchable power supplies, they're non-lineal. So they go from higher voltages to lower voltages and make them more energy efficient, supposedly, which I can tell you they're not more energy efficient, I can show you the studies with that. But we've been told that, it saves the power company, but it doesn't save you a dime. These LED lights, every time you see one of those, they're injecting dirt electricity back into the grid. And they're pulsing, I got to quickly, it's pulse, pulse, pulse. Your LED TVs are pulsing. So when you combine all these environmental toxins, as we, as we all know, the best doctors know that every illness and disease is environmental toxin, a mineral deficiency, which all that is going to be electromagnetic, and then mm -hmm. of course your thinking. Mm -hmm. All that is how it's all based based down to that. Then you got the AMA machine, the Chinese medicine, acupuncture points, your body your, your body's not flowing properly. So how do we make how do we make that uh, work more efficiently? Is first of all we have to stop going in the wrong direction. We can stop doing this. This would be this can be fixed pretty easy, but I know the. It's hard for um, a lot of doctors I do talk to, it's harder and harder and harder to get people healthy now in a short amount of time. It used to be you focus on the parasites, you work on the candida, the fungus, maybe you're, uh, get your spiritual, spiritual thing going, going good and you got better. Now it takes a lot more effort and that's exactly what I went through because I knew I was doing the right thing. I was seeing the best doctor I thought on the planet here and I wasn't getting well fast enough. I was getting in some cases uh, more tired and losing more weight soon as I eliminated the EMFs, as soon as I did that, all I did, nothing changed. I eliminated the Wi-Fi, I got rid of my car, they got shut it off, I turned the breakers off at night, I started getting better. The octopus started coming out. And let me tell you something, that was the scariest looking thing I've ever seen in my life. It's unbelievable what that, how, how crazy that thing was. You can't even make this stuff up. It, it just kept coming out of me. It's like, where's this thing coming from? It reproduced so fast. But again, when I went to Heal Hawaii and did a fast, one of my little bit of a journey before I came back, I was talking to Dr. Kazar, and this is the most interesting phenomenon I've ever been through in my entire life. I'm in my seventh day of night eating, thinking I'm going to starve this thing out of me. 
And I didn't, he goes, how do you feel? I said, well, I feel much better. I went to this Wiley zone the first three days. It was hard for me to get the first three or four days not eating. He says, well, well I'm gonna show you something. So we're in this, we're in this little, little vortex, I call it the Vortex in Hilo, a little a place out, out in Hilo, Hawaii. He said, I'm gonna take you downstream, I'm gonna take you, I'm gonna take you downtown in, into the city, I want you to tell me how you feel. I said, okay, no problem. So we're down, we're talking about some different cool stuff that Dr. Kassar likes to talk about, because what he does, he likes to talk a lot about different things. And he stops, he says, well, do you feel anything? I said, no, I don't feel nothing. He says, hold on a minute. So he drives another 100 yards, stops again, he says, do you feel anything? I said, yeah, I'm absolutely starving, what happened? He goes, that's the death cycle, you just started. You hit the Wi-Fi because that frequency activates the death cycle. And I have documents and a lot of literature that coincide with all this as well. That's all that changed. I, I, I promise you not, I was so hungry after that, I was like, I can't stand this anymore because that activated the death cycle. So this thing lives on radiation. It does. It's part of the component, obviously. Absolutely. It lives on thoughts, your thinking, your AMA, your short circuiting of your, of your, your chi energy that comes in. And then you have those um, uh, ability to be less resistant to that chi energy, which will absorb more of that electricity from the, from the environment. And then you have capacitors that absorb the electric, electric energy in those, in those areas of the, of the meridian points. But when you add EMFs, it shuts that down. That's the whole business model now, shut things down. And Dr. Carr even said, that's why I decided to become a, a, a certified valley biologist. He told me what was gonna happen. He said, then they're gonna get the electricity. Where did you get the electricity? I was gonna shut that down. He told me this is going to happen. So I said, I'm going to go and be home and certify the lane biologist. So it was a big change. And then I came back and uh, Dr. Yu and I talked about, our, about my, about my um, recovery and things we've done. We're still working on it. And it's a battle for me because I can't, I can't get away from it. I can't run a business without having a cell phone ability. I turn it off as much as I can, turn, turn the airplane mode on as much as I can. Every hour, turn it back on, get out of my car, let it ding. Okay, I do a thing, go back and check it, see if it's not an emergency. It's a pain in the butt. It's a lot nicer to answer the phone for 25 years like I did and talk to my sales guys, run my company. It was a nice, it's a beautiful piece of equipment. It's an amazing piece of equipment, but it's not safe. And unfortunately, it can be made safe, but it's just a lot cheaper not to make it safe. So as long as we can continue to stop running the wrong direction and start going in the right direction, we're going to fix all this. And the easiest way to fix all this is a wire. That's it. That's simple, six dollar wire and everything, everything's fixed. What that means is you have upload and download frequencies, 1900 megahertz and 2100 megahertz are the upload download frequencies that the cell phone towers uses to upload and download. 700 megahertz, 900 megahertz area is the uh, typical talking frequencies. 24, uh, 2.4 gigahertz is the main frequency and you have these pulse modulations in those frequencies and that's hitting your body. But what I found the most detrimental frequency is a 900 megahertz frequency, which just so happened was invented by a military contractor called Thrasher. A military contractor called Thrasher invented that frequency, and the frequency that are most detrimental just have them free. See, the government used to always sell land off for the need of money. They sell land off. Now they're out of land, now they're selling the airways off. They sell the airways off, they charge hundreds of millions of dollars sometimes for these frequencies. They bid on them. And there's, there's all these frequencies. But just so happened the 2.5 gigahertz and the 900 megahertz are free. And just so happened all the two most detrimental frequencies, also the two most frequencies that have been studied the most by all the documents that I have. So, um, any questions before I kind of clean this thing up? <laughs> what about 5G? What do you feel about 5G? That's a really good question. And just so you know, 5G is 1G, 2G, 3G, and 4G. Remember that. That's just got yes, closer, okay? So you're yeah. using. The frequencies of the 1G to 4G are made to penetrate walls. That's why the military likes those frequencies. They penetrate walls and you can see what's inside. The 5G is millimeter waves, which, go, which has a lot of um, uh, possibilities, but there's two reasons why, that, that's, that's the, why it's so detrimental. It's very biologically um, uh, harm, harm to biology. I have a document from 1977 where they actually said that it's the most biologically harmful frequencies on the planet is a millimeter wave. So because they pulse so much. And they're small and short, so the body gets confused. Yeah, so what happens, you have the, the, the width. So Wi-Fi just what happens is a five inch frequency. It's five inches wide. So any frequency or any body part that's five inches wide, we call it entrainment. It starts entraining with that frequency. And I have documents that talk about how right. the, they, can, they can match that frequency of that body part and make it, make it basically collapse or basically not work anymore. Then with the other part of that five inch frequency, any multiples of the five inch frequency, like seven and a half inches, 10 inches, the, the, whatever's that wide in your body will affect it. So it's very, very interesting about the 5G 
is you have narrow frequency, which matches the eyes. So that's where you're gonna see a lot of eye damage coming up. 28 gigahertz is actually an action right now in different parts of the city. Um, but again, that is your, that's the bare minimum of our concern. The concern is we brought this technology into our home. It's not what's on the cell phone towers you need to be worrying about right now. Obviously that's not good, but it's actually what's in our home. My average client has seven cell phone towers in their house. They have a Roku, they have Apple TV, they have their computers, they have their routers, and they have their devices. They have seven of those. When I go in these houses, I was just at a house and had a brand new three month old baby. The baby mine is right there, 6,000 units of radiation. Well, by the studies I've looked at, you know, I, I can read studies, I understand them a little bit. The voltage gated calcium channels are so sensitive, they're 7.2 billion million times more sensitive than any other part of the cell. What it does is the microwave radiation confuses those VGCs, it confuses them. And then, it, and then what happens is they finally start opening it up and they stay open. And then the square wave of the Wi-Fi route of the square wave knocks that calcium off the cell and gets replaced with the potassium. Potassium is not as strong as the calcium, so it leaks permanently. So what's going to happen to that kid, it might not show up right away, but he's going to have, he or she, that baby's going to have damage. They're going to show up 10, 20, 30 years on the road. They're not going to connect it that it was that, that, it was that baby monitor. It's been out 6,000 units of radiation constantly hitting that kid, nonstop. And if you really think about that, most of my cell phone tower readings I get around are 6,000 to 25,000. That's average. So that baby has a cell phone tower 18 inches, 25 inches away from the head. And that's just started just in the past 10 years. So that's why people sometimes say, why haven't I seen more issues? Well, you have, if you, if you, if you have, if you have uh, diabetes, more than likely it's an EMF issue. EMFs cause about 5,000 different illnesses. This is that attacks your immune system, so it doesn't cause one thing. So, oh, I got cancer, that person's got M that person MS, the other person got ALS, that person was losing my hair, or a person I can't think clearly, the other person, um, you know, I'm, my, my testosterone will went down. Because again, it's what you're seeing with these trees right now, the EMFs are attacking the immune system of the trees. One guy said, oh, it's the ants killing the tree, oh, it's the beetles. No, well, that might be fine, but it's still just attacking the immune system, that's why it looks like they're frying. And really, I think if you look at nature, and maybe even do your own studies. I like to do my own studies. I practice doing my own little studies. I do my own, I don't look at online that much and just think, oh, that's the gospel. I try to try to do my own, my own studies. But if you really look at nature, it's really telling you what's going on. That's the the, the tree barks coming off these trees. I mean, it's it's insane. It's like they're dying. The barks is exploding off these trees. Well, that's their organs. And the reason why that's happening is because that 2.5 gigahertz is the perfect frequency that oscillates with water, just like your microwave. What are we made of? 80 percent what? 70% what? Water. So it's oscillating. So you're actually oscillating from the inside out. It's heating up. Your organs don't have a heating element in it. They don't tell you it's getting hot. They don't have that in it. You shouldn't, shouldn't need it anyway. So it's oscillating. So therefore, dehydrating. And that was one of my worst symptoms I had is when I walked into my office at my, at my lowest point, they just upgraded their um, uh, Wi-Fi system to a commercial router because I, I had 80 guys in there between the sales guys and canvassers. And they're all on the phones or devices and clog up everything. So they put this commercial router in there. I literally walked in my building one time on a Monday morning and within two hours lost 10 pounds because my body was attenuating. And that's what that 2.4 gigahertz frequency does. It attenuates with water. It just keyed into it, it keyed in. And it was resonating with that frequency so much. It just made me lose so much weight. And it was basically all water. People kept thinking, oh, you're, you're not drinking enough water. But what was happening in my body was actually attenuating with that frequency because it was broke down. It just had too much, 25 years, three years of the iPad exposure. So you might say, well, I'll never do that. Well, yeah, but that, that happened in three years. Well, think, think about what might happen in, in 10 years. You spread out a little bit further with a little bit less exposure. Then now you add the 5G to it. You're going to add another component of, of, of radiation. But if people just hardwire everything and not use their devices inside the house, and um, use them outside the house as much as possible, not use them in the car, they got outside the car. You know, we can still use this and get through this thing to be fine, make, make some changes. Any other question? I had a detailed question, because I've been in this like rewiring, wiring thing. Mm -hmm. There are these devices which you basically use your already existing electricity in the walls to send the Wi-Fi signal through. But I'm in conflict with that. Am I going to do this or not? Because it would make it easy, you know, you don't have to string extra cable for the Wi-Fi, you use the existing cable, but then you send another signal through your existing 
it exits circuitry and that creates dirty electricity, doesn't it? Well, it can. Now, some of my most sensitive clients I go to, they can't do the Wi-Fi through the electrical system because they're just too sensitive to it. Yeah. Um, but I, I recommend, I have a low voltage person I use now. That's the first thing I recommend for people to do is get their house um, um, you know, wireless free. But then there's a lot of other things we can work on that your body will sometimes will key into. You get rid of the Wi-Fi, maybe you can maybe work on the smart meter to get rid of the salt tooth wave. You get better for a while. All of a sudden you start feeling worse again in about 90 days later. What happened? What happened? Your body gets to re-key it into another toxin. It's another environmental toxin, which it might be the wiring of the dirt electricity. So then we have to figure out how do we get that circuit breaker box wired correctly because you have two hots coming in, okay? Then you have a, a neutral or a ground going out. Well, this, the, the utility companies save money. They should run the ground or the neutral all the way back to the substations. But what they do is run it in the ground. Yeah. So we have billions of AC current by ground rods in the ground, which is now picking up all that dirt electricity. And each house, we you, you basically share the same transformer up to five houses. So whatever your neighbor's doing, you're sharing that with them. It's going through your pipes, through your wiring, it's going all through your wiring. And I got oscilloscopes, and I got equipment, I can see what frequencies in that wiring, and you're seeing 10,000, 100,000, 300,000 these harmonics of the frequency wrote to, that's riding on that um, wiring system. And then if you have a wire in air, it travels throughout the whole entire house. It's like a big, a big web, like a fog. Especially in magnetic fields, it likes to really get in that magnetic field. So now you have 100,000 100, times a second that frequency is bound something against your, against your, against your body. So the good news about all this is we can fix it, and that's what's going on. Because it's, kind of, it's really painful when you go and you're not feeling well, you don't know what's going on. You just can't figure it out, what am I doing wrong? Am I thinking wrong? Am I reading the wrong books? Am I at the right doctor? But if you know what else is out there, which is environmental toxin, then you can try to be empowered more. So, but back to that question, yeah. so yes or no, to try to use the electric system? You know, that's a good question. System. I'm not a perfect expert yes. there, and it's because it's a little, bit con a little more controversial. I recommend have a low voltage guy and, and, and uh, hardwire everything you put through a low voltage. But usually existing electricity in the walls, I've heard about that. Some other building hours have been above my pay scale per se. I've been doing this longer, I can find out. Uh, yeah. Bill Bath Day or what have you. What about the electric cars? Yeah, oh. they're a disaster. <laughs> yes. They stay away. Not unless, you want to be, not unless you want to have a lot of problems. Your Teslas, what's happening with Teslas? You, you, the neighbors over there, he's putting his Tesla, he's real proud of it. You know, I got my Tesla, I, I, can, I can ride my car all week on $6. But what he's doing, because there, there's a switch mode power supply generator, uh, or inverter, or whatever you call them, and they're charging those Teslas up, that dirt electricity is now going into your house. Okay, and what he doesn't know is a high magnetic field. He's sitting in a high magnetic field, and building biology safety level is about one, about 0.5 magnetic field or less. He's probably, he's probably in the tens and fifteens magnetic fields. Um, I haven't tested it all yet, but I'm trying to be a little careful. I have some clients of mine and I've sold some construction to, and I'm, I don't want to like, you know, I, I, there's a delicate way to get involved in that conversation. I'm, I'm there to help them with the Wiling project, not a not a be a belly biologist that day. So I'll just might just say, hey, listen, can I just test it real quick for you? I'm just find out that way, but I'm not going to tell them it's a disaster. When just, I went to, you know, I wanted to get a Tesla. So I went to the, you know, the dealership in Dallas and I got in the car and they let me drive around the block in it and then i said i have to get out i have a headache and then i just started throwing up violently oh, a tesla from a tesla car. yeah that's, that makes total sense you're making your electrical system now you're i'm very another, sensitive to emf you have another electrical system and if you're with your electrical system the, the chi energy the, the the everything we talk about chinese medicine we're all connected to the earth the biofield the earth we're connected. Yeah. we have our own biofield but why isn't it making other people sick the it guy looked at well, me like i was retarded i can tell you exactly why it's not happening or how it is not happening. Everybody's body shape is different. And these documents I have, from, from, I like writing military stuff. It's, I'm, I'm a big um, General, General Patton reader as well. I like a lot of his stuff as well. But it depends on the shape you have. The height and the width will depend on how that body, how that, how that uh, electrical voltages are affecting your body. Oh. Everybody's a little different. And again, remember, this is a machine. It's really, it's, it's so hard to figure out how this machine works. Why we have AMA machine? The AMA really kind of helps to see what's going on there. But if you now, everybody's body is different, different sizes, different heights, and then of course everybody's body wears out over time. It's like brakes in a car. Unlike a brakes in a car, you can place your brakes. We can't place his body, mm -hmm. so it breaks down, breaks down. It might be the the mm -hmm. tipping point or the where it puts over the barrel fat. That barrel fat that, that again, it's another environmental toxin that you're adding to whatever else is going in the body. It all depends on what heavy metals you might have. 
Do you have mercury fillings? I have lead. I don't have any mercury fillings anymore, but I had I had lead poisoning. It generally depends yeah. on your body's composition. And let me tell you something a little bit about lead and mercury. In the 70s and 80s, we were exposed to all of that stuff. In the 60s, had all that stuff. Autism almost didn't exist mm -hmm. back then. Mm -hmm. Very little of that. Mm -hmm. And well, what's different? EMFs. If you, <laughs> it, it, what it does, it works synergistically with this. It's not the cause of everything, but it works synergistically. Because before, I, mean, I had lead pencils. I mean, I played with mercury when I was a kid. You know, I mean, mercury was methyl whatever is in every all your all your lotions, methyl whatever, class two B carbon, all your lotions. I'm mm -hmm. doing that all myself. I'm going. I'm fine. All of a sudden, you know, I exposed myself to a lot of EMFs, and you know, I lost forty pounds of muscle in six months. You know, that's that's how the schedule is down. Mm. Another story. I, I bought a uh, Nissan Leaf, and uh, I was driving that for a while. And I was getting usually EMF doesn't bother me. I can sit under cell towers; it doesn't bother me. But, but uh, I started getting headaches and ringing in my ears. What was interesting was uh, my mold patients couldn't come near me. They actually would feel sick for a while until I got rid of the leaf and then they could back back to normal. Oh, okay, so my yeah, mold, and I'm gonna finish up that there. There's a lot of science that shows that mold grows about 600 times faster. So this, 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 this um, octopus, it's got a mold component to it. It's like a, it's a hybrid of mold and, and a, and a um, um, the big, big parasite, what's it called? Uh, tapeworm. It's like a hybrid. It really is, but it, but mold, it's, and that's what the EMF, so I turn the phone on, it feels like my whole body starts popping. And that's what exactly what happened in the 1918 Spanish flu, is pe the, the, the patients felt popping in their stomach. All right, so I had the same symptom. So we do, we do know that there's, um, you know, with the book of the Invisible Rainbow, we know for sure 100% for a fact with all the, all the studies had nothing to do with the virus, zero. It was nothing with the flu. And so it's so some sort of other environmental toxin, which is going to be probably tied to the wireless technology they were experimenting with in Kansas with the, with the troops and they released the radio waves around the country, which is AC current and then it blows off the earth's uh, magnetic electrical fields, we connect that electrical field, we get sick. And the people that got sick, ironically, were the healthiest between 20 and 40. No one else got sick back then. And they actually thought that people were actually, the, med, the doctors actually thought they were doing something wrong. What, what the hell is going on here? How can this, the healthiest uh, people be getting sick? Well, it makes total sense because the electrical system works better. It's connected to the earth better. So the more healthy you are, the more likely to get sick from all the EMFs. It's pretty interesting how that works, but it's usually how it is. I mean, I, I mean, I, I've talked to many people that are EMF sensitive, and typically they're healthier. Yeah. You know, they're not. You know, no, no disrespect. They're not some big person no. that's really overweight. Mm -hmm. I would never. They're like and never. Spirit they buffer it. Huh? People they buffer it literally. They buffer it because they're, they're, it's it's different. They're, they're not, it's not working as efficiently. They're not connected as much. Um, and there's a lot of deep so at my house. They pull, we were the first subdivision to get 5G in Dallas. So I, I refused to have it pulled in my house. I made a big presentation to my homeowners association. All my neighbors laughed and said, I'm crazy. There's no justification for what I'm saying. The 5G's great. So um, as soon as both my neighbors on either side got connected, I was unable to sleep. Yeah, it makes total sense. I didn't sleep for three months until I got a 5G blanket from Russia. And now I sleep under a 5G blanket on copper sheets or I can't sleep in my house. And I don't have 5G pulled. And I have everything turned out. I have the smart re meter ripped out. I did everything. No computers, nothing. And that was the difference was the blanket? Well, you know, because of the 5G. Well, remember, 5G, the millimeter wave doesn't really penetrate anything. So it's just, it just more locks into everything. It's the, other, it's the other frequencies that go along with 5G. The lower frequencies which is interesting to know, it's not necessarily the higher frequencies itself that makes it uh, more biological damaging, it's just a pulsing. Mm -hmm. um, you know, what's really interesting about this, 300 BC, 500 BC, we knew about the Chinese medicine. We all all connected. Mm -hmm. Well, 64 BC, there was a, um, um, a Greek scientist named Ladius Ptolemy, Ptolemus, start with a P, you can link him up. He realized, he did the first studies on pulse frequencies in 64 BC. What he did was he would heat up metal, uh, and metal when he heated up puts out radiation, like the sun. And he would make and he'd call it, they call it party games. And he would make a little um, uh, spinning wheel, and he would poke holes in the spinning wheel. And it depends on the speed of the of the wheel and the radiation. It depends on the speed he can make his uh, people 
laugh, he can make them sexually arouse, he can, he can make them mad, mm -hmm. he can make them go crazy, just by the speed of the wheel. So that, because it's putting out these different amounts of pulse rate at different speeds. So what do we have now? We have different pulse frequencies, different speeds, modulations, beam forming waves, salt teeth waves, square waves, and our body works, our body is analog, analog beings. And that's why you're, gonna, you're seeing some more and more kids, at least I've seen it, they just seem like they have no personality. They're just, just dead when you talk to them. I see that more and more because I think the brain's getting, getting, getting altered a little bit as well. But we want to go back and answer this one more time about your question. Um, whatever you do, anything's better than wireless, but get, that's the simple thing that any client can do, any sick patient. Just, it's safer, not just on the health standpoint, but you focus on it's faster and your computer works way better and your security's better. I find when I talk more about that, I'm able to talk to the average person where they actually would say, I'll listen to you now. Because the health thing I can't get. I don't, I, I, don't, I don't understand it, I don't understand, I can't feel it, but I get that because that makes sense to me. And that to me is where it's been working a lot better with my clients if I talk about the security, faster, computers don't get as many bugs in them. And I, this kind of actually had, this happened to me with my sister who came over and spent some time during this lockdown, somewhat. Um, and she says, Rob, I go, I'm telling all my people my work, this is, the most, this is the most amazing thing I've ever seen. My computer never breaks down, never has problems, and it's so fast. And I'll never use wireless ever again. And she don't care about health a bit. <laughs> but she does like the idea of her computers are faster. She's not calling the IT guy all the time. It just works better. And that's the nice thing. Your, your cell phone towers are all working on fiber optics. Every single school in America has fiber optics running to every room. For a six hour wire, these kids' lives are changed. It's all they need to do is have a six hour wire and they're done. It's over. Fix it, no more pollution. Because this is all pollution. It's a class 2B carcinogenic. We just added 3,000 more of those into the environment. So if, my, if, I had, if I had a pond and all the fish were dying, I'm definitely gonna check, not going to check and see if they're via virus. I'm going to see what the hell's in the water. <laughs> but unfortunately, when we talk about the air, we can't talk about that because this, is not, this doesn't work out what's going on right now. Because psychology doesn't work out then. Psychology is that people are bad and then electronics is good. Really, it's really what it's doing. And luckily, I did a little psychology study in, in the past. and knew kind of what was coming ahead of us, but I was always told to stay away from the, stay away from the cell phone towers. Nothing to do with my devices. So even with great, great counselship, and people know a lot about this stuff, I think they were fooled about what the true danger is, is not the cell phone towers, it's what's in the house. And now we have their electricity now more than ever because all the devices are creating more their, 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 their electricity on the grid. We can fix all that, filters, dielectric unions, a bigger highway leaving, leaving the house, because we have, a four-lane, five-lane highway coming in, you're adding more to the highway, you have more congestion, more traffic now in the highway, all your wiring, but you have a one-lane highway leaving the house. And this is what happened that goes into the ground. So it gets all clogged up in the house, and these things just pulsate. So what we're able to do is building biology is able to increase the highway, wiring, what have you, to leave the house, and you also filter what you have coming into the house that is too hot. So you can't fix that. Those harmonics and rise on the wire and you can't fix it so you have to filter it so walking around your house barefooted outside won't do much well no we're so big i'm feeling balanced we're big fans of barefoot but again it's an experiment i always tell my clients this is still an experiment if you think i'm gonna come in your house and make your make you make you feel better and you're all your symptoms are gonna go away then don't hire me because I, I i no one knows until you experiment that their bodies really know so you go out there and walk and if you feel better do it but you might have some transients and some dirty electricity in the ground. Yeah, that's the other But thing. if you feel better. Where trees stand on your property and where lines go in and out, like where it disperses in the ground and what is in the ground, it all plays a role. There's really cool literature out there. You can read up on all that. But yeah, so the wire, yeah, wiring, piping, all that stuff. But you know, hug a tree, the safe place to hug a tree. Yeah. Because God, when he made our bodies or higher power, whatever you call it, um, he gave us. And Barry Trower talks about this, but I like this. He talks about so he's a physicist. He says we have two radiation detectors on the side of our eyes. And what the trees' job are is as the thunderstorms, the electric storms come in, because we're all electricity anyway, storms come in, we sense it with our with our eyes. We feel the electricity coming in. Some people can feel more than others. The trees will take that electricity and bring it to ground to help protect us. So why you're seeing there's such a tree damage right now is now we have all these different trillions or more of electrified air in the air and it can't handle it. 
and that's why you see the bark that's coming apart, and that's what their job is to take it to the ground, but you can only do it for, such a, uh, for a period of time, over, over time, these trees. You also notice that the trees, and I say this nicely, that are not practicing social distancing are doing better because they can share the, 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 the sugars with each other. They say, okay, this tree is not doing well, we're gonna share and help that tree out. And the trees in bunches will do better, in big, big, big bunches, especially with the same type of tree. Trees that are spread apart are the ones that you'll see that if you look around, the ones that are having the hardest time because they can't share each other's uh, food and energy and uh, they, they talk to each other through the roots. And they're able to do that. There's actually really good books about that. I like to read that some um, uh, environmentalists will um, talk about some literature I've actually read. But the more bunched up you are, that's why as human beings, we, are need, we need to be within six feet of, with each other. You can talk to read some success books, Law of Success and 16th Lesson, Lesson by Napoleon Hill. Napoleon Hill was hired by Andrew Carnegie to do a 20-year study to find out what does it take to be successful. And he found out there was, there was laws you would follow. And guess what one of the laws were? Get people around you. Creates what we call the mastermind, because our brain will connect with all the, with the old mastermind. And I went to that $25 million company. They're doing $2 million when I showed up. And I said, we're going to add the, we call it, we call it the mastermind. We're not going to, we're going to turn off the TV, because the only virus that exists is in between our mind and between our thoughts and subconscious mind. And the only virus is the media. So we just turned the TV off. And we didn't, there, was no, there was no more recession. The recession went away in our office. We didn't know nothing about a recession until we turned the TV back on. So we boomed. We were one of the fastest companies going to St. Louis. All because of that concept. And the company to today is still following those same, the same concepts. And they're not watching news. They're giving it right now. They're not watching none of this stuff. Um, besides, obviously, they have to follow protocol when you go to a customer's house and find out what the boundaries they might have. And I do the same thing. I put a mask on. You know, even though I don't believe in it, but I put a mask on. I do it for the kids of their house. I'll do what, do what I need to do. Uh, any questions? Um, so, so there are telephone systems that you can have for your office. You need five phones your office. They don't, they can hardwire those. Yes, I, I got people who can do it. In my yeah. office, I did a hundred year old building. So this 15, 15 inch thick walls and we did it all. It can be done. You can yeah. even hardwire your iPhone. Yeah. Really? really? Yeah. You can hardwire your iPhone. What you do is you, if you, you know, I don't, I recommend keep your old phones. There's, there's so much less radiation. New ones are just terrible. 11, you might as well just forget it. It's so bad. So unbelievable. They put up 1.2 million units of radiation off that cell phone when it pulses in. 1.2 million. <laughs> you, got, you got to be kidding me. 1.2 million? Cables from all. I mean, that's not always 1.2 million. Everybody talks 25,000, 25,000, 25,000, 25,000. Everything's texting safe as not because this is an electro machine. It's your, you see, you see fire around your body if you can really see it with the right equipment. Well, so, when you touch the phone, every time you're getting cadmium poisoning. Well, that's right. You're getting it's something. It's radioactive. All, all Every screen, time you touch your cell phone, you're getting cadmium. Yeah, on, on the screen itself. Yes. I'm always curious about thallium too, because I was loaded with thallium. Yeah. And because that's using electronics, I was concerned. And actually, one of my mentors who had a radio show talked about the screens back then. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm very suspicious. But I haven't found any literature showing what's in those things. But it makes sense because how do you keep this screen from going rancid? You need a heavy metal. Mm -hmm. That's what the heavy metals are for to keep them going rancid mm -hmm. and, de de and deteriorating. So I'm glad you brought that up. But yeah, so you have 25,000, but you can take an iPhone 10, an iPhone 10, and you can text each other. Mm -hmm. Like all my other friends that don't have iPhone 10s, they can text me if I can't text them because they don't have an iPhone 10. Now if they have a 10, what I mean by that is hardwired. Mm -hmm. I can be hardwired and no, no, on airplane mode, and I can text them, and they can text me. I can email them, they email me. I just can't talk to them. But it has to be the same exact phone carrier, same phone for that to work, but I can still receive their text I'm hardwired, and then I can go use my landline call back. That's usually how I do it. So I just leave my I leave my phone hardwired uh, when I'm at my house as much as I can, or I'll put it in the other bedroom and just leave it on. Try to do most of my business from my landline. So landlines, hardwiring, if you said that, you you see the world of difference. I'm not so concerned about cell phone towers, to be quite frank with you, even though they're not good. But that's a, that's a start because people can live with, with hardwiring. It's not a disaster. Well, as far as your family is, the thallium, does it go that definitely can affect people mentally? Now, what did you do to detox or how did you get guidance for getting thallium out? Well, uh, Doctor, you and I talked about a protocol and we did, it worked out well for me. We combined with the medication. I, I did very well with the EDTA, the EMSA, and then the DMPS. Did you didn't use methylene blue or anything else for that? Methylene blue? Yeah, yeah methylene methyl blue. Methyl blue. That's the newest. I didn't do anything. I did, I, I did a lot for the <laughs> aluminum. Uh, aluminum, I did do some of the, um, I did foot detox too. I like that, relax me, help me sleep. Cause my, my biggest problem, why my health went deteriorated so fast, went that family shock I went through. 
my body went into complete, couldn't sleep at all. Mm. I mean, nothing. And so, and then when I took the medication, because I was making those guys mad, they kept me awake even more. <laughs> so it was even harder to sleep. Mm -hmm. So then my body started deteriorating, so I started going backwards a little bit. Um, but yeah, the, the, the heavy metal, because these guys feed, feed on that filth, whether it be thoughts or food you eat or, or, or pollution. And when I, when, I, when I really got them out really good was when I weakened them with the heavy metal detoxification. That didn't really should come out. Yeah, you told me that you couldn't sleep if you use a fiber. That you couldn't sleep. Yes, and that's another reason why that I was really convinced that the that these frequencies, because you know, I'm, um, I went to kind of I call it going to school about frequencies, and my mentor would teach me you can just put an X on a white piece of paper and change the frequency of that piece of paper by putting an X on it to change it. So I knew when he said, hey, I'm gonna do the Bible, I was like, you know what, that's perfect. I was in such bad shape, I couldn't even pray. I'm telling you, I could not. I was, uh, you feel like you just wanna lay down and die. That's how you feel. He said, give me five minutes. So I took the Bible and, and we started doing this and we started doing the acupuncture and triggering it. That we find out where these guys were. And they love, of course, their gallbladder and their liver area. So they like to hide. They're in there, it's a fungus, so it's all in there and having a little fun. Um, but I put the Bible on there and it helped me sleep. And it was one of the most impressive things it was fine. I could feel my body just relaxing because those words have frequencies on them. So you don't have to say the words necessarily, but it's better to say the words because it's, just, it's, a, it's a better harmonics with the with the with, with electricity of the air, all, all electric anyway. But I laid it on there, and that was a big turning point for me. And I used to say affirmations every morning for all these years. Was my previous company, I couldn't even say affirmations. I literally couldn't say them. I was in such bad shape. It was. Just, I mean, I said I know what to do. I couldn't. It was like my whole body was shut down. It was like some. Demon took me over, I felt that I was just, okay, you're, you're taken over by me and good luck, I'm getting better. But finally we got through the hump and I, but I said the EMF is really what made the medication and the protocols work again. Because you keep adding environmental toxins, how can you get better? These are all class 2B, they'll be class 1. It's just, you know, we have to wait 25 years like the tobacco, they did 50 years. We're, we're in our 20th year right now. Another thing is dimmers, dimmer switches. Oh God, I'm glad you brought that up. Worst uh, thing that you can there, they put out so many it's dirty electricity, and the you can see them on the oscilloscope. They just they just mostly hold on the when, voltages. Mostly when you lower it, yeah. because then you really increase the field. Yeah. So yeah, if you have dimmer switches, you can't get rid of them right away. Just you have to run the light on maximum. Yeah, the light. Yeah, just get rid of the dimmer switches. Um, one hundred percent. But what they've also, what these LED companies, these light companies have done, of course you put mercury in those, you know, CFL, and that was always bright. Anybody knows any common sense, has three, three brain cells, knows that you put, you add light to a heavy metal, it's gonna travel throughout that, 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 that area. So that, like they don't know that, okay? So they did that, so then they changed it to the LEDs, which I have the cheaper uh, uh, piece of equipment that chest for your electricity, you plug them in the wall, you turn the lights on and off, and ee, now they got really bright. The new ones, turn it on, they don't change. Oh, they're safe, yeah, they're safe. Mm -mm. Hooked up a oscilloscope, I took a voltage meter, put, hooked it onto the neutral, got my oscilloscope, turn, turn that LED on, and, and it, what you would see, the, C, the incandescence that the Edison invented. The Edison was pretty darn smart, by the way. Yeah, he was. No, you buy, not only to make a, a light bulb that our body likes, because it's a, it's, a, it's a natural sine wave. Mm -hmm. So he even knew that AC current was, was dangerous, and he was really against that. Uh, Edison, the only, only, only reason why Tesla won that contract was because it was cheaper. It traveled easier. <laughs> yeah, but anytime you had a spinning magnetic field, transform, whatever you want to call it, and then you invert it and move the electrons back and forth, you're going to create a really a, an abnormal... Isn't that to why there's more problems in the U.S. versus Europe. What was that now? The difference, like the currents here. Yeah, it was 50, 50 hertz there, were yeah. 60. Yeah. yeah. Okay, um, so this happened, the 120 hertz cycle is the perfect frequency cycle to where when you get electrocuted by that, you ain't getting off. It's better to get electrocuted by 240 hertz. It'll bounce you right off and blow you right back. I, was, I went to a school for air change moderation, and I actually had to watch the guy, unfortunately, pass away at the job site. He got caught on, couldn't let go. He was stuck. So, but the 240 blows you back. So they could have changed that. I don't know why they're using 120. The, I know Europe uses a little bit different than that. I got what we call 100 hertz, I guess, is what they use there. Um, but I was on another uh, conversation I wanted to uh, finish about something that was on, and I forgot what it was now. Speaking of hard metals, is there a palladium in the cell phone? 
Palladium? Yeah, well, I mean, I, I, I'm, I am really, really suspicious about thallium because I was low with thallium and I was doing hours on that. Where did I get it from? Who knows? It could be anything. Could be in the organic vegetables. What's that? Organic vegetables. Organic vegetables. Because they Kale. use the brack water Kale. from from uh, the, the from the mine from getting gas out of the yeah, ground. Well, they, they throw it on it, make the organic iron, but it's the water runoff yeah. is from well, the that, brack. That makes sense to me. Because I was eating all organic. I ate perfect. Yeah. Filtration system perfect. Yeah. Said the right words. Ate all the right foods, worked out all the time. You know, I was a personal trainer when I said to have all the muscle, and I still, uh, you know, feel like I just I couldn't believe how bad shape I was, and it was happening that fast. That's kale. Used organic kale, yeah, well, that definitely. Well, I was doing a lot. Of, I was doing a lot of beets too. I think beets has a lot in it too. Yeah, they just don't have what farm area, but it's it's, it's the it's curse, it's curse the land. citrus vegetables. As much as we promote them for detox, they do the same with the soil. If you grow the oh, same vegetables, yeah, that makes sense. You can absorb all that. Heavy metals, toxic soil, soil and it'll absorb it. Yeah. Heavy glycophate and all that stuff. Right. Mm -hmm. in there too, I, a, a I don't juice it. I don't eat any kale unless it grows in my garden. Right. Yeah, exactly. Okay. All right. Well, I'm wrapping it up. So, anything else? Real uh, quick. No. Repeat what you said about Tesla. Uh, the car, the Tesla car. Well, I wouldn't recommend them, put it that way. I can test them, I can test one, but what I've been told by Bill Bathgate, who's an engineer, worked for IBM, and your 40 year engineer, who worked for a space shuttle, he was brilliant. He's on my team, he says, absolutely disaster. And oh, uh, he knows. For the human body. Yeah. For yeah. The human I have a client who has a Tesla, and she's always complaining of headaches. And, like, and can't sleep. Can't sleep. Yeah. Crystal. Yeah. yeah, so it's probably the magnetic, so Bill says it's probably the magnetic field more than the electrical field. Mm -hmm. um, so that's what I haven't tested. Right, the hybrid, same thing that just happens to have high, high, the hybrid, like the Ford hybrid. Those yeah, I wouldn't recommend any of those because at the real, a lot of times that runs the batteries might be in back and it runs underneath the car. I wouldn't recommend anything like that. Okay. The old fashioned incandescent light bulbs, get rid of the LEDs. The LEDs are complete, even the newer ones, they just change the harmonics what they, what they, what they work on. So when you put them in there, they don't show up on my meters because they work on 10 hertz, 100 hertz, as well as the frequency ranges that these things pick up their electricity in. Well, they've lowered them. So you think these light bulbs are safe, when you hook them with a oscilloscope, they're not. They're pounding like this. And I have an OC1 meter, you can hear pounding you. So the light bulb, like a regular light bulb, when it says on the box, natural lighting, is that the safest ones, or do you have no, to buy a special Again, one? Again, LEDs, they, they have like, they say, oh, hey, we have all spectrums. All spectrums, and now you think it's safe. No, but the, the old style incandescent. That's what I'm talking generous. about, a regular light bulb where it says natural lighting on the outside. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's fine. We want to get a halogen light bulbs and the old incandescent light bulbs. Go to Dallas and get them. They still make should, 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 should be able to get them everywhere. Just use old light bulbs. Don't use any LEDs. The, I, I have tested the smart Eco Smarts like, um, incandescent light bulbs, and those have been fine. So, uh, but I like to keep it we, as basic. We have found that we really like the Edison bulbs with the low light voltage that kind of put out like a warm glow. Okay. Um, there's the more yellowish, yeah, and the there's the ones that proclaim natural light. But the natural light is colder yeah, in its is. frequency, so it's more stressful to the body. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna close it out, guys. So I'm gonna let the, let the turn back over. Talk to you up here all day. Yeah. Right here. Great. Thank, Thank you so much. Yeah. I do.